Okay, we've got Ben here from Melbourne. Hello, Ben. Hey, hey. guys. Hello, everyone. <laughs> we've even sold him a Kiwi Mana suit. That's yes. awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so, what, what are we doing? We're lighting a smoker. That's right, we're lighting a smoker. Not too hot. Not too hot. You don't want to burn, burn the, the wings off. No. Do you have smokers in Australia, Ben? We certainly do. We certainly have smokers. Ours aren't quite as big as this. Mm -hmm. That was a little bit shorter, but that's, uh, <laughs> but we do have smokers. This is but... we're in New Zealand. <laughs> it doesn't matter, man. It's what you do with it. No, that's correct. <laughs> that is correct. Are we talking about smokers? <laughs> anyway, yes. let's move along. This is those new hive maps. Oh, these are the ones you mentioned before. Okay, yeah. yep. Looks like a, like a WeatherTex. Okay. What we call WeatherTex maker. Yellow, yeah, eh? Yeah, yellow. Yeah. You know, one thing I'm interested in that's quite interesting is obviously the second hive I've seen in New Zealand been, been opened. Actually, I actually have seen some others that um, obviously the honey's been tucked away, but a lot of propolis. A lot more propolis here in NZ yeah. than back home. Just an interesting observation. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, more propolis. I mean, I can do anything. Margaret, you, you can boss me around. Watch. I'm your, I'm your apprentice here, so I love bossing you can boss me around if I want to hold anything. Hold down, you can hold something and something to look at. Okay. That's cool. It's a little um, frame holder. Frame holder, but it holds multiple ones. How many yeah. does that hold? Uh, three or four. Three or four. That's cool. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's cool. I like that. Yeah, that's the Kiwi Mana frame holder. That's a Kiwi. Really, it's, that's cool. Because back home you get them, but they only hold one. Oh really? Yeah, yeah where you got the oh, Wow, look at that. They've really awesome. been drawing on there. Do you want to have a hold? Yes, or yeah, look? we'll do it. Yeah, we'll do it. Yeah, we'll do it. Any eggs Rob, here, Ben? Uh, extremely yellow, man. It is, no, no, I can't see any eggs on this one. Um, yeah, they the, the colour is amazing. That, that resonating sort of yellow. It's beautiful. Beautiful bees. Well, good looking bees, too. Almost as pretty as our Australian ones. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Now that's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're, they're, that's awesome. Yeah, I love the colour of the wax. That's interesting. That's, uh, and, and far more, as I said before, the an observation, more propolis. You know what I mean? Is that yeah. because it's more Maybe readily available? Or is it the or moisture? Or is yeah, it might the, be, eh? Or is it the genetics of the... the the, the bees, you know what I mean? But that's interesting. These are from an Italian queen. So Italians, yep. Wow, look at that pollen. That's like amazing. That pollen, see, we don't, look at that pollen. That's back home, it's not as vibrant as that. Like, oh, that's okay. just like this almost, oh, almost like glow in the dark pollen. Where's the queenie? Oh yeah. She's trying to get away now. The, uh, the other funny thing is you guys don't get snakes here. Back home, we're a little bit like this. As we're walking <laughs> because it's gonna be a big a big tiger or a big black snake. Just come out and just give me a fright. Yeah, because you... when I see yeah. grass like that, and anyone in Australia sees grass like that, you're going shit. Um that's it, where are the snakes are. Oh, oh yeah, oh, no, yeah, no, no snakes here, man. So Ben's looking at a new hive, it's a seven frame hive. And he's just told us that New Zealand beekeepers are a far superior to Australian beekeepers. <laughs> Did I say that? He's refusing oh, to say it on camera. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, seriously, I think it's it's good. You know, you guys, as far as beekeepers, you know what I mean, are ahead of Australia. You know, and, and it's uh, on the record there. No, no, I, I truly do actually mean. I do mean that because you guys are really. Um, you know, we're a few years behind beekeeping in Australia, um, and uh, I think that's obviously with the manuka or manaka. Is that what you guys say? Manuka. Manuka. Yeah. Um, uh, is, um, you know, I mean, just with that sort of industry, because I think you've got about a million hives here now in New Zealand, eh? That's a lot, that's, that's, yeah. That's a lot, you know what I mean? And you know what's interesting as well? A really good observation is the smell. 
you know, I just got a, a waft of the uh, the nectar and the honey smell. Yeah. It's distinctively different to us mm. back home. It's like a very, you know, different aromats as far yeah, as like, the floral yeah. smells. It's um, very, very, really interesting. Yeah. Is, is there any, is it easy enough for you to do a phallic video? Yeah, well, it's just 12 volts and it's easy for the hobbyist to take around. And then we've got our vaporizer, we've cut up salic acid vaporizer, salic acid, which is a, an organic um, plant extract from brassicas, rhubarb, um, all sorts of things, eh? All sorts of brassica plants can be used for it. This is called oxalic acid crystals. Very harmful to humans, but no harm to the bees. And I just take some oxalic acid and pop it into the head of the vaporizer. You should always wear protective gear when handling this stuff because it is poisonous and corrosive. And once it's vaporized, it becomes toxic. So you can't breathe it in. And this does burn your skin if you get the crystals on you. Mm. I like it protecting from you, right? Yep. <laughs> you guys will be into it, right? Yeah. I you know you Aussies will love that. this method like of having smaller boxes not for nucleus production but for housing colonies yeah okay because they think that if they're smaller the cluster stays hotter and keep, can keep themselves hotter okay so that's why they they um, are trying smaller colonies and I find they're all right through summer but then in winter you've got to really manage them well make sure yeah, yeah. okay yeah yeah, g'day. That was awesome, wasn't it? Meeting yeah, meeting Ben. Ben's bees. Ben's bees. Telling us about how great New Zealand beekeepers are, so that's awesome. Oh, I think he's pretty great, and yeah, lovely to meet him. And uh, yeah, all, all good stuff. Hot day here in New Zealand, so we better get back to the bees. Just finished doing the treatment, so it's all good. See you later.